Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for the last time at this location. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds, and this will be shot in a couple of locations, but we're going to open it up here probably for the last time. And I say probably because I don't know that for a fact, but things are things are starting to move along. So we're going to open a couple of boxes here, and then I'm going to open a couple of boxes there. <sighs> yeah. It's going to be one of those weeks, weekends. Yeah, we're having we're having a time of it. So I've already opened one of these because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it here or there, but I've decided I need to do this one here. This is from Amplock. They actually, I, I reached out to them when I'm, I got this whole trailer security thing going on in my head and I, I reached out and they said, hey, yeah. We want people to know. We want to be on Friday's Fires. So thank you, Amplock, for sponsoring part of this edition of Friday's Fires. They've actually sent us two. Two different trailer locks. Holy cow. This box is heavy. Especially this one. This is a beast. So this is the TLS-2. This is going to be perfect for my little red trailer. So if you have a, a little boat trailer or something along the little utility trailer, that it's got to have the flange on the two inch ball. And we'll, we'll look at that when we go around there. So, but it has to be a flange for that to work. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think that'll work on a fifth wheel, but it'll definitely work on a little boat trailer. Now, if you have a, like a, a big cargo trailer that you need to secure, this thing weighs probably 10 pounds. It's heavy. Both of them have, I'm gonna call them pick proof locks. They're not keyed the same, but those are those are some of the harder locks to pick. So that fits inside the bowl. This is all heavy steel, so this this is a, a, a solid chunk that by itself is probably five pounds. And you can see how they fit together. That's not going anywhere. I mean, you it, it, look how thick that is. You'd spend probably all that you would go through. If, if you try to cut this off with a hand grinder, you're gonna be going through a, a bunch of blades because that's hard stuff. Even this one is super hard and heavy. We'll go around and put them on the, on the trailer and see how they fit and how they work. After we open this other box, dude, I just can't get over how heavy that is. And it comes with serial number, both of them. That way, I guess if you ever have to, if you lose your key and you need to get to your trailer, you can probably take that to a locksmith and he can cut you another key. Have a, a key registry. There's a QR code, this is for Amazon. There's a QR code under my thumb that I can't show you, but that's where you would go to register your key, your key from Amplock. That way, if you lose your keys, Amplock can send, Amplock can send you a replacement. Genius. Genius, I say. All right. Next up. Do you have a drawer of sockets that are just all scattered willy-nilly? Yeah, I got three of them. So when Uliber Magnet reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in working with this, I said, but of course. Especially since we're seriously in the business of getting organized. 
These are very cool. Oh, ball kicked on. So we have half inch socket holders with magnets. We have ooh, super heavy duty magnets, quarter inch and three eighths inch. So I'm gonna go pull some sockets on this and pull it out of my, my socket drawer. And we'll see how well they, we'll see how well they work. Let's go to the garage. When I was mentioning the flange, this is the flange I was talking about. You, you pull that out. You slip that in. That's the, the TLS-2. I like that. It's a little easier to keep up with. Because it doesn't weigh 100, 100 pounds. It's still heavy. <laughs> it's still heavy. But it's not as heavy as, as this one. This one is super heavy. Put that in there like so. That in there like so. That that is not going anywhere. Look at that. And it's both of them are keyed from the bottom so your your keyed right here so if somebody's gonna pick it they gotta lay on lay on their back ah, this is I could beat on that with a sledgehammer all day and it's not gonna go anywhere that would become more of a nuisance trying to steal this trailer than somebody else's trailer amp lock your trusted name in trailer security. All right. If you want to know more about that, that won't be a Friday's Finds, but if you want to know more about that, you're going to have to go to the RV Homestead, Texas. That's the Homestead channel. All right. Let me work with these sockets and I'll be right back. Everything's just kind of there. Let me see if I can fix it. It'll hold deep sockets and shallow sockets, although with the, the half inch, they're really heavy, so you can't get a, it, it won't hang that way. It'll, it'll only work like that. But heck, that, that still that works good. Put it on the side of the, the toolbox there. Just like that. If you're working on the car. Don't tell her I did it, but there you go. So you can put it on the side of the car while you're working on the car. You don't have to have a tool chest. You can hang your sockets on a metal rack. That's, that's handy. That's a genius idea! I got several boxes to open and they are from Hyper Racks. You know, we have two e-bikes. They fold up, but they still take up a lot of space. And a lot of time, and if I want to carry my boat, I can't, I can't carry my, my inflatable boat and my e-bike and my scooter, so... I, I don't have enough room. And when HyperX reached out to me and said, would I be interested? I had to say yes. So let me un open all these boxes because we've got a number of things going on here. We've got locking cables. We've got extending things. So we're going to open up some boxes here and see what all we've got. We're going to go from the smallest to the largest and see what they've sent. This is a small wheel adapter. The small wheel adapter comes with, OK, 
Okay. And two of these. I think that's for the small, smaller wheels, maybe. Ah, uh, that's icy now. For the the, yeah, that makes sense. All right, next box. Next we have. Wheel die. It's a back saver. That's what that is. That is a back saver. You'll see what that's for momentarily. Now we come to the big box. Ah, <laughs> got it. Success. Success. Some assembly required. So we're all unboxed. Let me. Let me read the book. These are the keys for the pin lock. And it comes with a handy dandy multi-tool. Check that out. That's pretty cool. The Hyperax multi-tool. Hyperax. I have it put together. There's, there's some things I really like about this. Number one, it, it is lockable here. You can adjust it. It folds down like that so that you can load the, the inner inside bike. And you flip it up. And when you, you have your depth gauge so you're not having to fight the, the hitch pin, the hyper racks e-bike carrier is installed and set up man they have thought of everything we're protecting the paint on the xp light here uh, since we're using the spanner bar you don't have to worry about it on the vituvia super stable and i like the fact that i can walk back here i really like that i can get in the back of the truck and I may actually end up putting this on the motor home. Probably will. I like this though. I like that it's it's got different keys. It's got it's got different lock points on it. But I'm certainly still they're still going to be putting the heavy cable on there. Which is going to take us to our, our next Friday's finds item, uh, which is security. I'm going to be using a, a braided steel cable to secure all of this equipment and make sure the e-bikes don't run away. This, the Abus, Abus, this is a, you can set your own combination and where the flaws are on this one and this one, biggest flaw is there's, there's too much space between the tumblers. And with this one, you, yeah, it's pretty simple to pick. This one doesn't have those issues and it is. If you've got stuff that you want to secure, then you need this lock. And this thing weighs about two pounds. Heavy duty, hard to pick. There's, there's no space. You can't get anything in there to pop it or, yeah. It's just a real good lock. So that's what you need. If you wanna protect your assets with a lock. So what I'm gonna be doing with 
the bikes on the bike rack, I'm gonna use this heavy duty lock. Steel cables threaded through both bikes, both bikes. This, these bikes aren't going anywhere. I like it. That makes it so much easier to move this thing around. I need to jump in a truck. We need to go to the forest. We got some products to check out in the woods. This is from Fun Ho Run. Fun Ho Run. Fun Ho Run. Pretty handy. This, this, in case, in case you hadn't figured it out, this is a hunting blind, bird watching blind. It's a way to observe wildlife without wildlife observing you. We do have instructions. Includes a floor. Very nice. So. That's cool. When you have your, so you can stick your, your, whatever you're gonna stick out. That's where you would stick it out. Whether it's a camera or a, yeah. Whatever you're going to take pictures with. That is awesome. That's nice. I like it. Perfect. That'll allow you to observe the wildlife and they can't see you. You'll like it. I know I do. We have reached the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. The relocating edition of Friday's Finds. All of these items can be found on Amazon and I will of course provide you with a link in the card above and in the description below. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV's Gear Recommendation Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated, and I know these vendors would appreciate you, you checking out their stuff. As you can see, I would say I'm, I'm about 90% committed. <laughs> and I say 90% because I'm still kind of back and forth. But stuff is happening. Video editing, 
not so much. I am striving to stay on schedule with at least Friday's Finds. Post a comment down there. Tell me what you like best on this edition of Friday's Finds. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. It really helps with that algorithm thing. If you've already subscribed and are following, thank you so much. That really helped. And for our patrons, your generosity is most appreciated. You got rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?